Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Hunter Call of Wild, we're here to shoot a brand new great one. I can't believe another one has spawned. My herd management is going crazy at the minute, and we're going to take a look at it today. It is a new great one fallow deer, and it's a different fur variation on rack I haven't got. So, can't wait to stick this in my trade floors as long as we make the shot. And we're going to go over the details right now. Now, in my last video, you would have seen, if you've seen it, <laughs> check it out if you haven't, um, I got three great ones to spawn at one hunt, all in a row. It was mind-blowing. I didn't think it could be done, and it just happened. My herd management is crazy at the minute, and I can't believe my respawns. Well, what I did was I shot two great ones. I thought I'll leave one of the great one fellows alive because it was a really high scoring trophy rating. And I thought if that's right, right at the top of the trophy rating, leave it alive and let's see if we can spawn another great one fallow because the other one uh, spawned like 10 kills after the first one spawned. So I thought if we leave the highest scoring one, shoot the one below, maybe it will do it again. And guess what? It did do it again. <laughs> Eight kills after I shot the second fallow deer that spawned, right? Second great one. A new great one spawned. So I can't believe it. Eight kills after. So this is where the new great one spawned. It's on that beach. We're going to take a look at it in a minute. We'll do a little bit of grinding first and roll up to it. Because at that location, they roll in about quarter to one. So right at the end of the drink need zone time is when... That great one fallow rolls in so that's what we'll do i've also got another great one fallow there alive on one of these other lakes this is where we shot the previous great one fallow deer on that location and we've got one alive on where i'm just marking now so we've got two on the map at the minute two great ones i'm going to keep one alive we'll shoot the lower one which is an absolute stunner I'm going to shoot that one right now with a Zaza 308. I was only aiming to get my second huddle done or fallow deer, and now I've nearly got three. <laughs> so if it keeps up like this, we'll have our third one done soon. Now I've been checking what deer I shoot, what fallow deer, and um, what respawns come off it. And basically what I did was I shot a level four and then this great one respawned. So we came off a level four. Now, what I do is I hunt red deer and fallow deer. And then I do a red deer run, get all my hunting pressure off the fallows. And then when I finish my red deer run, I go to fallows because all the hunting pressure is done. And that's what we've just done uh, to clear all the hunting pressure so I know everything will be back where it should be at the right time. So we're going to check this lake. This is generally how I start my grind for fallow deer. I normally start this lake and then work my way down. So we'll see what's at this lake, just in case there's anything nice. We'll shoot what we see. If we see a three or a four, we'll probably take those out. I'm trying to be really selective with what I'm shooting at the minute because I've got it down to 14 shooting fallow deers left. So there's only 14 deer I can basically shoot. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kill only the bigger fours or the bigger threes. And uh, we're going to see how that works because my thinking is, right, if we've got the biggest sort of scoring fallow deer on my map or as close to the biggest you can get, it doesn't need to spawn one of those. So what I'm thinking is, it's going to have to spawn a diamond in the next few kills or a great one. So that's how it should be. And it's already got a great one on the map, so it might think, oh, we've got a great one, so we might spawn another. Uh, it's already got one. That's the thinking behind it, and we're just seeing if that works. Previously, a lot of people didn't know whether stacking great ones actually hurts um a great one spawning again because you've already got one uh it might not need to respawn one so that's the thinking behind that but from what i've just seen like i say whether that's random or not with um how fast my latest three great ones are spawned i really don't know it doesn't seem like it hinders it at all i did it with diamonds before those people will know who's watched my videos for a while i got all my shooters to all diamonds on red deer Every lake was just diamonds of males. Uh, it took me about a year to get to that point. <laughs> it didn't serve any purpose uh, other than finding out that after I got to about 20, 25 diamond red deer, it actually hindered diamonds spawning. Uh, they, they weren't respawning until about 500 kills onwards and then another one would spawn. 
So after a certain while, it did actually hinder. Uh, but like I say, we was talking 20 diamonds or 25 diamonds uh, uh, before that actually happened. So one or two great ones on the map probably doesn't hinder. probably actually helps. Um, and that's what I'm trying to find out. That's why I've kept the like high scoring trophy rating one alive because if that's right at the top end of where they can sort of score, then obviously if anything respawns, it doesn't need to respawn that high. It's it can be below, so it may have a, a better chance of respawning a great one in the sort of lower ranges. So that's my sort of thinking. Whether it works or not, we'll see. Um I know at the minute I've got a few fours, I've got one diamond. Uh, which has respawned at uh, an area which I never get fallows. Uh, it's mainly a red deer lake, and I've had two fallows spawn there in about 10,000 fallow kills. So uh, when that respawned there, I thought something was a bit weird, and that's the same time as when the great one fallow deer spawned. So we might kill that diamond, I don't know. But we're definitely going to kill this great one. Today, as well, we will have the new community poll. I don't know what it's going to be about. So at this time of the video being made on Hunt the Colour Wild official Discord, join there, get ready for the new poll uh, for the community weapon pack. There is going to be a new poll. I don't know what it is because, like I say, at this time of the video, I'm waiting for it to come out. It's today. It's Tuesday. Uh, this will be going out Wednesday. So I don't know um, what's actually going to be in it, but I'm looking forward to it. We'll do a video on it anyway. But uh, I'm excited. We know that the 300 Blackout won last time. Um, the 450 was second and the 375 as well came third so we know that those are the calibers so i'm guessing the next poll is probably going to be what the weapons are can't wait to see and a lot of people are hyped about this like i say last time on the hunter call of wild official discord where the poll took place over 10,000 people joined just to take part in that vote it's busy anyway. There's our new great one. But make sure you join there if you're not already a member. It's a great place to come and chat. There's a lot of people on there. I think there's like 70,000, 80,000 people now on the official Hunter Call of Wild Discord. So it's, there's a lot on there from the community. But there is a brand new great one followed there. He's a painted version. And he's got a rack and fur variation, which I haven't got yet. So uh, can't wait to shoot it. We're going to use a Zaza 10, 308. My grinding gun of choice for fallow deers and I can shoot this blindfolded in fog, <laughs> lightning storm, spinning 360. It, it, it is a simple shot for me with that. I, I, I spend many hours a day hunting with this rifle, so everything's uh, very simple with this. Look at that. You couldn't believe it. It's just been raining all that time. The mist. You come out now. now. <laughs> I wanted you a minute ago to have a look at this fallow deer. Great one. Screw you, son, you can have a bullet. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit in the trophy lodge, though. <laughs> right, let's go have a look at this new great one, Fallow Deer. Can't wait to have a look at it. This will be number seven. Look at that. Look at that rack. I do like the painted. I've already got two painted Fallow Deer great ones with different racks. And there's the third one. Absolute stunner. So there you go. What's your favourite fur variation for the Fallow Deer Great Ones? Let me know. And the best rack combo. That is a stunner. That's one of my favourite racks and one of my favourite fur variations. So I'm happy to add that to my trophy lodge. Where are we going to put him? I don't know. I really don't know. We could put him in Spring Creek Manor. I did pull two Fallow Deer Great Ones out there. But then I added two great one red deer back in them spots um which i had to move about so i'm doing a lot of rejigging and i'm not sure where to put some of these great ones and now they're coming in <laughs> one after another i'm sort of like i ain't got much space in my lodges and i'm not sure where to do them uh, maybe we should just make a lodge with just great ones in i don't know let me know what you think about that in the comments but yeah what an absolute stunner that is one of the best fur variations in my opinion Mocha, I think, is my favourite. Uh, but that rack is really nice as well. And I really wanted to get that one as well. Sometimes when you get a great one, there's a certain rack or a fur you want to get. And then when you get both the fur and the rack, it's like a double win. But then when it's one you haven't already got, 
that's like a triple win. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, it's just like bonuses all around, and uh, I can't help but buzz about it. It's been such a great weekend, and uh, like I say, four great ones in literally like a day of hunting. Realistically, that's what it's been. I got three great ones spawn in like an hour. Then I took the day off just to chill and, and party and just to celebrate. Then went back on. Eight kills later, this one spawned as well. <laughs> so I've had literally like four great ones in like a day's hunting. And uh, it's been insane. And I'm hoping it continues. I'm thinking about starting the great one black bear hunt again. It's been a while. I got to 1,100 black bears last time. But... Um, Nothing really spawned. I had quite a few diamonds. I think at one point I had nine black bear diamonds stacked. Um, but I never got a great one black bear. So maybe it's time to return to that. Maybe Lady Luck um, will shine on me. The hunting gods of Silver Ridge Peaks will probably give me one. I hope so. Or well, I could go back to Moose. Moose on Remontuli Coast. Uh, I'm like ten diamonds in there on Moose as well. So... I'm sort of like midway grinds on, on both of them, but it's just like, you know what I mean? What, which ones to go for? I'm not sure at the minute. I'm really interested with how this is going to play out, though, with this Great One Fallow Deer and my herd management. Because, like I say, I've got 14 left. So, Great Ones should spawn quite quick now because we're at the end of herd management. So, let's break down the stats of how I've been doing. So, this grind started uh, for Red Deer mainly to get a super rear. Uh, about two years ago, basically two years this September coming and I started followed there as soon as they came out and I sort of combined the grind uh, and it's come to this. So basically I've had 286 diamond follow deer with eight great one follows and about 365 diamond red deer with five go red deer. So 13 in total with what? 651 diamonds so that, that's, that's not bad um i've had some long grinds and i've had some shorter ones my first red deer grind was quite short it was like 700 kills um but this last fallow deer one before these like all spawned in was really long and same with the red deer there's quite a long grind so i'm just trying to figure out where to put this new great one fallow deer so as you can see, I've got two painted there. I've got a saw rack one, a wide elk rack one, and the one we've just got. Silver there with a the saw rack. We shot that one uh, to make up the huddle. And we got another sort of mocker. The mocker, I think, is my favourite now. It's weird how they change. As you get them, you'll like say, oh, this, that, that's my favourite. And then as you get a different one, it's like, that's my favourite. We can't put him there. <laughs> I should know better. I was thinking, oh, I've got a spot in the corner. We could stick um, the great one fellow there, there for now until we uh, work out what we're doing. And we can't actually fit him there. So we're going to have to go to Spring Creek Manor and uh, see what we can stick in here. Now, in Spring Creek Manor, I've mainly got great one red deers, as you can see. Uh, they're scattered about. I do love red deer. They're probably one of my most hunted and favorite species along with white tailed deer uh, i had a thing for white tailed deer when especially when rancho del arroyo was like the king mecca it at one point it was just like the best reserve for white tailed deer and if it had been like that i'd probably still be grinding white tailed deer at rancho del arroyo but then it got changed and uh, i sort of changed my mind but here's where we remove the fallow deer great ones to make the huddle so i've added two great one red deer here in those locations now where do we put this great one fellow there i don't want to put it on a normal trophy band um on the wall look at this old school max rank puma scores 40 but yeah that was a thousand back in the day i actually like that i don't know whether i could re mm, do we remove that and put the fellow there great one there i'm not sure i've got some old school fellows before True Rax came in. So I'm not sure where to put him. Let's have a look upstairs. I've got super rares in here. I've got great ones. I've got some special trophies. But it's always a work in progress. And as you get further along in your trophy lodge, it becomes really hard. Like here, for example, I've got four egg white wolves and I would like a super rare wolf <laughs> to go in the middle. 
That's not going to be an easy challenge, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> At some point, we'll have to do that and grind wolves. Try and get a super rare. That would be a dream. You've got to aim high. This is where we're going to stick him for now. I wish you could adjust the lighting in Spring Creek Manor because in some areas it's it's quite dim in certain rooms and some areas it's a bit brighter. Obviously the time of day makes a difference but in some areas of some trophy lodges it's definitely a little bit dimmer and it'd be nice just to have a dimmer on the wall you could turn up to have a, like a better brightness or better lighting. Let me know what you think about that. That'd be a nice customization addition in the future. But there we go. So another great one added to my trophy lodge so i hope you enjoyed the video another great one followed there for ron mctube we're playing the hunter color wild please subscribe to my youtube channels and thanks for watching bye bye